Hello everyone and welcome back to another video brought to you by SeniorCatWellness.com In today's material we'll discuss why cats often use their paws as a form of communication to get your attention for better and for worse. Before we break it all down today, let's first take a look at today's topic overview. Cats paw their owners to get their attention, either because they're bored or looking for attention, or want to feed. They may also want to play, and will reach out to initiate a fun game. Territorial cats will transfer their scent onto their owners to gain ownership of them through the sweat glands located in their paws. It should be noted, and we'll certainly address it in greater detail here momentarily, that your cat could also use its paws as a form of aggressive communication. When cats aren't happy, they're typically not very shy when it comes to using their teeth and their paws and claws to get your attention. Watch out for those paw swipes if your cat is in a bad mood. If your cat raises a front leg and holds it up like a batter waiting for that fastball, that posture alone is your cue to tread lightly. And when it comes to treading lightly, that's certainly something that we will not do when it comes to expressing our love and support for each and every one of you, the viewers of Senior Cat Wellness. We are very loud and proud about it, the best viewers on the feline wing of the internet. And just an FYI, feline wing of the internet would probably make for a cool t-shirt, just saying. <laughs> to the viewers, both new and well-seasoned, we thank you so much. You make us look so much better than we are, and Senior Cat Wellness would be nothing without you. Thank you so much for taking time out of your day to join us, and we do hope that you find today's content both enjoyable and informative, and we do hope to see you again in a future video. Now, Cat Paws, friend, foe, or a little bit of both? Let's talk about it. That little love tap, more or less the equivalent of a person tapping you on the shoulder. Just a nudge to get your attention, no harm intended. Hey you, are you there? Hey, just checking. <laughs> it's not uncommon for cats to just randomly touch their surroundings as almost a way of confirmation, somewhat of a security reassurance. Cats will often paw their owners in this fashion if they have a strong and existing bond. And, while some pawing can be just for that basic confirmation and a friendly hello, other times it can be done in an effort to promote some level of engagement. Take a few moments to be mindful of your cat's environment right after that gentle paw tap. Affection, playtime, or hunger could be behind the friendly gesture. Just make sure that all of your pet's needs are being met. Hold your hand and take long walks on the beach. Late night dinner plans, the whole vibe. <laughs> now the hand holding or somewhat of a high five posture perhaps in some cases is not too dissimilar from the standard pawing. Although by making sure that your hand is involved rather than say your shoulder, this could be a bit more direct. Your cat could be looking for attention, some level of assurance or affirmation. Your pet could be expressing contentment towards you, perhaps you're wanting to, you know, get, get in the game a bit, wanting you to initiate some level of play, potentially using your open hand as a resting spot, or here comes the bad news. <laughs> well, perhaps your hand was just in the way. Your, your hand was just there, and that's why your cat just ended up, wow, talk about a Debbie Downer. I guess mixed signals, right? So much for those long walks on the beach, I suppose. This is sort of the jokey portion of the program because I think we're all familiar with these actions. You don't even have to be a cat owner to know about this type of pawing. In the gentlest fashion, it's typically a sign of contentment and at the most it's used to get your attention uh, for some level of some basic needs. There is certainly no hostility being expressed with this behavior and that's the key because it's a far cry from our next subsection. The jokes are over when it's time to hit that fastball and you do not want your hand to be near your cat when your pet is ready to swing. Why does that behavior even happen? We've got you covered here in just a matter of seconds. When you're walking by, when you're standing still, when you're sitting still, <laughs> whatever the case may be, be on the lookout. 
while a gentle nudge, a paw to the arm, perhaps a paw to the hand, is typically all about positive scent marking, getting your attention, hunger, playtime, and perhaps a, just a bit of overstimulation, what I like to call semi-aggressive affection. A blatant swipe? Yeah, that's a whole different ballgame. And if your cat isn't declawed, things can turn sour in a great big hurry. One of the biggest causes of the swipe behavior is fear. If your cat is afraid of you, something you've done, or something that you appear to be about to do, your pet could use the paws and the claws as a self-defense measure. In addition to the fear aspect, some cats adopt this posture in an effort to display social dominance. Depending on a cat's living environment, your pet could feel the need to set the tone within the home. An alpha cat in training, perhaps. Cats that are engaging in this behavior almost do it as a form of bait. If you respond to the swipe, your cat could think that it has control. Thus, you've become the victim. As a tip, even if your cat swipes at you and unfortunately connects, do absolutely nothing. That's the best way to quell the situation. It takes two to tango. And if your pet doesn't have a sparring partner, They'll eventually cool off and enter a more content and relaxed state. It's important to note that some cats just love to test their owners. As we've mentioned many times in various videos and written materials, cats are all about self-preservation. Your pet could be sizing you up, especially if they're in a new environment and you are their new owner. While fear and an attempt to display some level of social dominance could usher in the paw swipe behavior. Play aggression could also be the culprit. This is a bit similar to overstimulation that we've mentioned earlier, but a little more substantial. Some cats get the zoomies during playtime. What's the best example of the zoomies? Ah, children. <laughs> Have you ever seen a small child just run around the house for no reason during playtime? Almost like the moment is just too big to sit still. Too much excitement going on. Cats can act the same way. A fun moment could turn a bit ugly in a second, biting, scratching, and swatting. The whole buffet, <laughs> the less than ideal buffet, that is for sure. If you're playing with your cat and you suddenly notice intense tail movements, ears pinned back, and large pupils, stop what you're doing. Freeze if you must. This is the calm before the storm. Play aggression typically commences if stimulation continues beyond these physical cues. While this is more common in young cats, it can occur in cats of all ages. Young cats often do it because the energy levels are just getting too high. Well, older cats, they could do it because they've just become aggravated that playtime is getting a bit too abrasive. And let's be honest, they're just too old for that. And just like our previous advice, shutting things down is the best way to quell this behavior. The only reaction you should ever take is to simply stop. It must be established to your cat that nothing good will come from this behavior for them if the behavior continues. Never reward your cat for clawing you at the same time. And on that note, that will wrap things up for the video portion of today's material. However, if you'd like to know more about cats and pawing, we do invite you to visit us at SeniorCatWellness.com. At the conclusion of today's presentation, there you will find a high-quality article dedicated to everything we've talked about here today and so much more. Are you currently watching us off-site? If so, we encourage you to click the initial link in the description box below. Said link will take you to all of the information. And until our paths cross again, and I certainly hope they do, we'd like to thank you once again for joining us today. Please have a wonderful day. All the best to you and yours, and we will talk to you later.